Hi, and welcome to this video on Enterprise Search. As the name already says, this module was specifically developed for our Shopper Enterprise Edition. Enterprise Search is based on Elasticsearch, which integrates with Shopware 6, and it actually enables an interface in the administration for the user to very granularly uh, configure the search and the information that should be indexed. So this can be across different entities like product data, category data, but also manufacturers can be indexed. Okay, so let's have a look how the search looks like from the storefront for the customer, but also how you can configure it in the administration. Here we are back in our demo store. So let's make a couple of um, examples on how the shop search, elastic search or enterprise search, better to say, looks like in the storefront. So for example, if I look for a certain search term, like for example, shirt, you see that multiple results pop up. So overall, this quick search or this model box of the enterprise search uh, is divided into sections. On the left-hand side, you have the product um, uh, suggestions in terms of the search term. And on the right-hand side, you have further terms which uh, match your um, initial search and also other entities that are indexed. In my case, there is also a category which is called shirts. And of course, you could directly jumping from this quick uh, search model box into the category or to the different products. Right here, let's have a look at the order of the different products which are um, shown here. In my case, the word shirt is to the very top of the product description or the product title with t-shirt, logo t, caracal, but also with t-shirt round neck. Then we have shirt, the search term further down the line in the product name for Lissy shirt and Leonora shirt. And as you can see here, also the search is also error tolerant. So also Guzina short is indexed as well as the word uh, or the product with the word short, here in this case, the bindings. Another example, if we look for example for the word bear. You see again that certain uh, products are popping up to the left hand side and let's have a look at them as well. In this case bear is really to the first um, corner here of the product barefoot broadside brettel. Um, also in the word covering there is bear included. Thus also the products from those um, product lines are popping up here. And as you can see here with the snack board barefoot, you see that bear is further down the line. Thus it gets indexed, but it's um, not ranked to the very top. And if I um, complement uh, or finish my, my search term to barefoot, which you might know as the manufacturer uh, in our demo store from one of the previous videos, you see also, of course, the search terms or the search results, sorry, get more specific. In my case, the two products from barefoot are um, showing up. And as well, what is interesting here, the barefoot uh, living manufacturer page. So if I click on enter or uh, on the search icon, you then get to the search result page, which summarizes all the results. So if we conclude this, not only product um, uh, data is indexed, but also data from categories and manufacturers. But let's now look at the uh, administration interface that Shopware Enterprise Search offers. You go to our administration and then under settings, as an enterprise customer under settings and then under plugins, you get the entire enterprise feature set, including Shopper Enterprise. So please under plugins, download the plugin and activate it. If you did so, then you have this third tab called plugins and here you find further plugins which you have uh, set up and which you can configure from here. Among others, Shopware Enterprise Search. So this is um, the administration interface. Up here, you can select the different sales channels you want to configure, in my case, Demo Shop. You have three sections actually, 
overview, preview and boosting. Let's start with overview. Here you have the general settings in terms of what information should actually be searched. So here you see which information is indexed or even boosted, which I'll come to in a second. And you have some uh, configurations in terms of hit count for the quick search. This is the model box from the storefront and the result page. Here you can define, as it says here, the number of elements shown per category in the quick search. For example, in terms of manufacturer um, results, category results and product results. Same holds true for the result page and the configuring of the shown elements down here. But let's have a look, which is most interesting um, in uh, this area, which information is indexed or even boosted. If you click on that, uh, a pop-up opens and you see the searchable information. Again, with Shopify Enterprise Search, different entity can be searched. So not only product data, but also data from manufacturers and from categories, which is quite handy. So if you have information in the description of a category, etc., uh, obviously this is then also content search and not only product search. So let's stick with manufacturer for a second. Manufacturer in Shopify has those fields available. Description, full text, full text boosted, link, name, translated description, translated name. And then you have the different columns not searched. So by default, this is all the fields are not searched. Then you can uh, check what of those fields should be searched. So if you search for a term that is potentially included in the description and you want this manufacturer thus to be popped up, you have to mark this uh, field as being searched. You can uh, check a field to be uh, searched in a prioritized way. So this will give um, this field a bit of boosting in terms of just usually being uh, searched. You can enable partial hits. So as of three letters, uh, um, a partial hit is counted. And you can activate compound words. So if you have words that consist of multiple words, then you can check and compound words uh, so that those are enabled as well. Great, so let's have a little look at what else in uh, the configuration of Enterprise Search. Let's move on to preview. Here you find a preview with the indication of uh, a scoring per each search result already in the administration, which is quite handy if you want to control what pops up to the very top and what should be pushed further further down below the results page. Uh, here you can do that and have a good idea of um, how uh, highly ranked uh, a search result is. So for example, if we go to the entity product and type in our bear um, example from, uh, from earlier in this video, you get also a better idea on why or what kind of distance lies between the different um, products and uh, their ranking. So you only saw the first six search results as this was um, indicated in the hit counts. So here you see that Barefoot Brotzeitbrettl was to the very top because of the highest ranking and Snackboard Barefoot was to the very low because of the lowest ranking. Last but not least, you can also boost. And this is specifically relevant, for example, if you want to push specific products or potentially you have a campaign uh, with a certain search term that you want to um, give great attention using the search. So I created a little example. So um, as you remember from one of the uh, previous videos, maybe I allocated the tag summer campaign to some of the products and to some of the categories I created in this demo shop. So of course you can also make um, the tags searchable so that if I use summer term, uh, summer campaign as a search term, the respective products and the respective categories that have this tag should pop up. So let's see how this works. I go back to the overview, which information is indexed or even boosted. And for my categories, as well as for my products, I go to tags name and make it searchable. And I'm doing the same for my products and go also here to the tags information. 
as you see here, really all of the different fields for the uh, separate entities can be searched. So you really have a granular way of uh, configuring what is actually taken into account when being searched. So here again, tax name should be searched. Great. So let's see what that does already in the storefront. So let's go back to the homepage and search for my tag name, Summer Campaign. Let's do that. And as you can see here, um, a selection of products which have the tag, among others, the Fireball, which I previously created in one of the videos, as well as some categories have the tag as well. Thus, they pop up here. So here you also have a nice way of working with the tags, by the way, if you have a certain campaign, like in my case, a summer campaign, and you want to push the respective product or category set um, with it. But now um, I really would like to have, for example, Gina Bikini and the beach bag to the very top of the products here because those are the products which, which I really want to sell off because they have a high margin, for example. So how can we do this? We're going back to our enterprise search, go back to the tab boosting and I have created this little example here, boost beach bag and bikini in summer campaign. So let's see how this works. First of all, you give it a name and then you give it a boost factor. So 10 is already high as this is kind of multiplying um, the factor in the scoring. You set it active. You can time set it, again, very handy when you do some campaigns and you want to link it to search, for example. And then based on product streams or entity streams, you can push certain products or entities uh, in the search result to come to the top. In my case, I have allocated a product stream or a dynamic product group, which I called boost example. So let's quickly, before putting this live, go to our catalogs, dynamic product groups. And here we see the boost example. So what is actually in there? In this boost example, I took the condition product is equal to any of, and then allocated the beach pack and the Gina to bikini, the two products here and here, which I actually want to push to the very top. Okay, perfect. So let's close the boost example product stream. Go back to our boosting here. Activate it. Again, boost example is taken into account. Save it. Save the search. And let's reload the front end and see what happens now if we search for summer campaign. And as a result, you see in my example, from the boost example product stream or dynamic product group, the Gina bikini and the beach bag, which both were further down here, got pushed to the very top and thus obviously have higher visibility for my customers. And obviously this is just one example of how you can use the boosting in the enterprise search to influence the search, result, uh, search results for your clients. Thanks for watching this little video on how to use the enterprise search. I hope you enjoyed the content and see you soon.